VBA arrays allow us to work with a group of similar data items. But what exactly are they and why do we need them? Imagine you're storing the marks of a student. You declare a variable, store the marks in that variable, and then later you might write the value somewhere. What happens if you need to add more students? Then using single variables for each student begins to get out of control. This is where arrays come in. You can handle any number of students without requiring any more lines of code. And if there is a different number of students each time our code runs, then we can handle this as well. We declare an array using dim. If the exact size is specified here, then we cannot resize this array later in our code. A better way is to declare the array without any size and then use redim to set the size. This might look like the same as the first method, but we can use variables in the redim statement to determine the array size at runtime. Redim can also be placed in a loop or a conditional statement, giving us a lot of flexibility on how we can use the array. A one-dimensional array is essentially a single row. A two-dimensional array has multiple rows and columns and is like a spreadsheet in memory. We add extra dimensions to an array by adding the dimensions to the array declaration. Once we have declared our array, we need to add values. We do this using the index or position and the equal sign. In a real-world application, we would normally use a loop to fill an array. We can also fill an array using the array function. You must declare the array as a variant and VBA will create the array for you. The biggest advantage of arrays in VBA is that we can copy values from a range to an array with one line of code. No readm or for loop required. This is really useful because using an array to read and update data is exponentially faster than using a range. Note that this array starts at position one. When we assign from a range to an array, we create a copy of the data. This means changing the data in the array does not affect the original data. To update the spreadsheet data, we can write it back using a single line of code. In a real world application, you would typically resize the range as you write the data back like this. While two dimensional arrays are significantly faster than ranges, they have almost zero functionality. For example, an array cannot extract rows or columns, get the size, sort the number of elements, and so on. To do this, you need to write your own functions. Alternatively, you can use the 2D array class I created in this previous video. For one dimensional arrays, there are some useful functions. Array which we've seen already, split parses a string to an array, join combines an array into a string, filter is used to filter a string by a given criteria, is array checks that the item is a valid array, erase removes all data from the array if you dimension the array with dim. If you dimensioned using redim, it will then erase the array completely and you'll need to create it again. Lbound and Ubound give us the lower and upper positions of an array, which is very useful for for loops as it means we can deal with any array size. The second parameter of these functions specify which dimension that we are referring to. We can increase the size of an array by simply using redim again. However, this will delete any existing items. We can use preserve with redim to resize and keep the existing data. Preserve only works with the last dimension of an array, so if you try to preserve the first dimension of a 2D array, for example, you will get a subscript out of range error. The normal subscript out of range error occurs when you try to access an element that doesn't exist. Arrays are always passed to a procedure using by ref. This means if you change the array, then the original is changed as well. Conversely, when you return an array, a copy of the array is created. If you have a lot of data, this can really slow your runtime down, so it is better to return by the parameter. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one.